Good afternoon, South Lane Sport. Today is Friday, March 11th. I'm Matt Marzacco. And I'm Caleb Catherine, and welcome to SWTV News. Don't forget that you can always catch our show online at www.youtube.com backslash SWTV News. Or email the show with questions or suggestions at SWTV at mounties.k12.pa.us. So how about that weather this week, Caleb? It's been kind of crazy. It has, man. Saturday I was out with my brother playing catch. Come Monday, I'm throwing snowballs at little kids. It's been ridiculous, but I think Ramsey Rowan's going to have some good news for us going into this weekend. Hopefully. As you can see, I'm staying outside in a windstorm, getting soaked by the rain. But the weekend does get a little bit better. Saturday, sunshine is finally breaking through the clouds with a high of 47 and a low of 32 degrees. Sunday, the precipitation returns with wet rain and calm winds with a high of 42 and a low of 35 degrees. That's all for this weekend's weather. I'm Ramsey Rowan, and remember... Shoot for the stars, because if you miss, at least you'll still land on the moon. And Matt, now I hope all that snow's gone. I'm sick of it. It's all right, Caleb. It's going to be OK. The weather's going to clear up, and we're going to get better. So uh, now we have some awesome announcements that are going to get you through this. South March Madness is here. The class of 2012 is sponsoring a three-on-three -three basketball tournament on Friday, April 1st at 6 PM. Sign up during lunch today through March 21st for $5. You must pay when you register. Players will sign up individually, and teams will be drawn when registration is over. Come out and support Nonsense, the mega musical, tonight or tomorrow at 7 p.m. Advanced tickets are available in the office, $5 for students, $8 for adults. Maddie Amron put together a little promo for all of us to enjoy. Hello, I'm Reverend Mother Mary Regina. I would just like to invite you all out to come see our show on the 10th, 11th, and 12th. That's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Well, actually, if you didn't come last night, you should come tonight or tomorrow. It's a very good show. We've got a lot of musical numbers in it. There's some tap dance, and I know how much people love those feet making noise. And then there's... Oh, Sister Mary Regina! Help me! What happened to your wimple? What? I was cooking, you see it! Oh, you didn't kill uh, anyone else, did you? No! What's wrong? The kitchen's on fire! All right, I'm sorry about that. We had to call the fire department. But just remember, come see the show tonight or tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Admission is $5 for the students and $8 for the adults. Hope to see you there. Have a holy day. This message has been approved by the big man above. Kayla, I'm excited to see the musical. I'm going Saturday. What about you? Yeah, I'm going to go Saturday, too. That sounds good. But uh, in, in other news, do you have any idea what's going on good for concerts or movies? Well, personally, no. But I heard Nate Kirster and Kyle Burley enters do. Thanks, guys. And welcome to Arts and Entertainment. I'm Kyle Burley enters And I'm Nathan Kirster. Hey, South. Elton John and Kesha are coming to the area. Elton John will be performing on March 27th at the Bryce Jordan Center. And Kesha will be performing on April 15th at the Lycoming College Rec Center. I like to go see Elton John, Kyle. Really? I would too, but you know, cash is tight these days and yeah. I can't afford it. Yeah, I understand. So, uh, Nate, since we got some time for those concerts, what are you going to do this weekend? Well, I have off, so I'm going to go see one or two movies. Either Red Riding Hood or Battle of L.A. Well, Red Riding Hood's going to battle a village that's plagued by a werewolf. And uh, Battle of L.A. is basically about aliens trying to colonize Earth. Hmm. They do sound interesting, but I'd rather see a musical. Really? Yeah. The Drama Club is putting on Nonsense this Friday and Saturday night at the AB Elder Auditorium at 7 o'clock. Admission is $5 for students and $8 for adults. Hmm. Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, do you know any um, video games that uh, are good? Yeah. Why? I'm, I'm getting sick of uh, Black Ops. I'm going like... 50 and 4 on Demolition and 9 and 0 oh on Search and Destroy. Wow, you're doing really good, it sounds like. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You really get that many kills, though? E no. More like 4 and 25. Uh, wow, but uh, no offense, but you really need a new game. Mm -hmm. I'd probably try Dragon Age 2. It came out Tuesday, and I put countless hours. It's an RPG. It's really fun and addicting. Sounds awesome. Well, that's all we have, you know. Back to you guys in the studio. 
Oh boy, oh boy, I'm excited now. I can't wait for Kesha. And you know, Rango looks pretty cool too. It's kind of weird, but <clears throat> I'm going to see Kesha too. But uh, did you get blood last Wednesday? Yeah, man, I stuck that needle in myself. That's cool. I gave the double reds. Well, good for you. Yeah, but uh, Lexi Fry has a recap of the blood drive for us. The blood drive last Wednesday was a huge success due to all of the students and teachers that came out to give blood. There was a great amount of blood donated to the Red Cross. What, what's your? Double. Double. I don't know what kind of blood I have, but it's double. He's doing the double, the double red, the double red challenge, and I'm sure she could explain it to us. Lexi, you want to? Really? Yeah. <laughs> double red cells were taken as red cells were given back as platelets and as plasma. Brandon Weldy over there can't do double blood because he doesn't have the right blood. No squeezing, no making an There were also plenty of snacks and drinks available for everyone. How do you guys feel? I feel pretty good. Pretty good. I'm enjoying the food. If it weren't for the generous people from the Red Cross, the blood drive wouldn't have been possible. How was your experience on getting blood? My experience was wonderful and I really enjoyed it. Are you feeling good? I feel great. Caleb, the blood drive looked like it was a huge success. I heard you uh, recently started a new segment on SWTV News. Yeah, it's called What Really Grinds My Gears. It's about certain things that really just bug me and other students. But why should I sit here and explain it when you can always watch it? Hello. And welcome to What Really Grinds My Gears, a new segment on SWTV News which focuses on the things that really just bug us. First thing that really grinds our gears is the locker closing. Alright Mike, you're doing whatever you want, man. Man, doesn't that just really grind your gears? Next would have to be the shoulder tap. Man, don't those things just really grind your gears? Well, thank you for joining me here on What Really Grinds My Gears. See you next time. Caleb, I'll tell you right now, that stuff bugs me a lot. Yeah, me too, man. But hey, did you know that Mrs. Jones, the art teacher, has another art slideshow for us to see? I've been down in her room, and there's some pretty sweet stuff down there. Let's take a look at it. Well, that's all we have for SWTV News this week. Have a great weekend, Southside, and enjoy the rest of the announcements.